Yeah, good day, YouTubers. Tinker O'Toole again here with another video. Today we're going to briefly just talk about these three different uh, gauge sizes and why there are, there are three different gauge sizes. Because originally, when I was looking at it, I thought, what a waste of time. Why would you have 0.325 in 50 thou, 58 and 63? Then I'd noticed that the tooth was slightly wider, but that's not predominantly uh, on every uh, chain that comes out there, whether it's still or Oregon or Archer. But in this case from Hurricane Chain, the uh, top plate width of the tooth is wider on all of them. They're not the same size. So why have these three sizes? Even in 3.8 chain, you've got these three sizes, 05, 50, 58, and 63. Now, especially this 058 gauge, even in 38, was very popular in Germany and Europe and still is today. This is very popular, this 058 gauge, and even 50 thou was popular. But if we go back 60 years ago, the reason that they had these three sizes was back in the day, that metal of of that era was nowhere near as good as what it is today. So you had problems with the tie straps stretching and snapping because the tie straps were thinner on the 050 gauge as opposed to the 058 gauge. The drive link, the depth of the drive link is different on them as well. Now today the metal is superior compared to, to those days so I actually measured the three uh, tie straps and they're all approximately the same width whereas going back in the day they weren't they were smaller so things have changed but they still keep these gauges and typically what it was that if you had say a 40 cc saw you would run this gauge if you had a 45 cc saw you might run this gauge if you had a 50cc saw, you may run that gauge. And that's what it was. It was horses for courses. And it's still the same today when we when we look at this range of the 0.325 and the 3.8. Typically, every country is a little bit different. Uh, with saws in excess of 60ccs on 3.8 chain, we tend to run the 063 gauge. On the 0.325, a lot of the pro saws are running the 058 gauge because the 063 gauge is getting very close uh, to 38, whereas this is distancing itself away from 38, and certainly the 050 gauge is, is nowhere near 38. Now, even on the really small saws, uh, the MS181, I run 050 gauge rather than 043 gauge because the tooth is a little bit wider on full chisel and it can pull that quite easily, even in hardwood. And that's the reason I run it, no other reason. So I always keep my chains razor sharp and I never have them so that they're dull. So it cuts through the timber quite well. So if you're wondering why you've got the three gauges, that's the information that I found out, and it goes back over 60 years ago. Small gauge, small saw. Medium gauge, medium saw. And larger gauge, larger saw. The difference, as I said, would be, say, from 45 cc's, uh, 50 cc's, maybe 55 cc's. So there's not a lot between that and that. But back in the day... If you were to put the 050 gauge on a 50cc saw with metal fatigue and the metal not being as good as it was back in those days, there was more common occurrence of snapping the uh, uh, tie straps. Whereas if you went up to the 050 gauge, 058 gauge, you would find out the tie straps were thicker and there was less chance of snapping them. And certainly if you went to the 063 gauge, it would be beefed up. But these days, the metal is superior and they just make these and you don't hear a snapping nowhere near as much as what you did back in the day. So I hope that information helps if you're wondering why that there are three gauges in 0.325 and three gauges in 3.8. It's because of that, the different size CC engines. And as I said, back in the day, there was more problems with chains snapping and that's why they made the three gauges. 
Thanks for watching. Bye for now.